Thank you very much uh, for giving me the opportunity to speak to you today. It's always difficult to close out after so many expert speakers, uh, those who've made such a difference in the carbon markets world, and I hope I'll do, do my best to, to keep up with uh, the expertise that we've seen today and the wonderful people who've contributed to this process. Excellencies, colleagues, thank you for the opportunity to contribute to this discussion. The COP28 presidency firmly believes the carbon markets, voluntary carbon markets, are an important, as yet, underutilized tool in delivering carbon action, climate action. With only seven years remaining to rein in emissions and keep 1.5 within reach, we need every tool at our disposal. Our goal here must be to resolve the issues that are holding us back and from using all the tools in our toolbox. VCMs, which span both the energy transition and climate finance, are an important part of the COP28 action agenda. VCMs can contribute to climate mitigation by disincentivizing actions that would otherwise lead to higher emissions or by incentivizing those that reduce emissions. Examples of this include reduced deforestation, supporting the transition to more efficient cookstoves, or facilitating the uptake of clean energy technologies. It also includes efforts to boost the removal or sequestration of CO2 through reforestation incentives to foster the protection and expansion of ecosystems or through direct air capture. According to the IPCC, VCMs could play a major role in funding the removal of three to four gigatons of global emissions by 2030. Aside from mitigation, VCMs can also drive important environmental, social, and economic co-benefits. This includes protecting biodiversity, improving soil and water, and boosting jobs and livelihoods for local communities. On the finance side, credible and high integrity carbon markets can help mobilize flows of cross-border financing, particularly to the global south. There's also complementarity between VCMs and Article 6 of the Paris Agreement with clear opportunities to harmonize country and corporate level financing. However, to achieve their potential, we must first reconcile the reality that in their current form, carbon markets face a crisis of confidence. A lack of unified, commonly agreed standard is undermining their integrity and diminishing their value. Our primary objective must be to restore confidence in carbon markets and to ensure that the highest integrity standards are firmly in place and actively implemented. On this point, allow me to recognize the role of the African Carbon Markets Initiative, ACMI, together with the Afri um, African governments for the leadership in establishing regulatory environments that are conducive to private investments. And this is only a fraction of what is possible. The carbon market opportunity in Africa is significantly under-realized, with less than two-thirds of Africa's credits coming from only five countries, and with almost all projects focused on just two sectors, energy and forestry land use. This leaves significant room for growth. If developed with a focus on integrity and credibility, BCMs could boost critical climate finance and support green growth and development. This can help deliver multitudes of climate action across a range of sectors, including adaptation, decarbonization, biodiversity protection, and more. The COP28 presidency welcomes the continuous effort, efforts by ACMI and partners to develop and scale up high integrity carbon projects. And we support the ambitious goals of the ACMI to raise the quality and integrity of African credits and mobilize up to 6 billion annually by 2030. 
and 120 billion by 2050. Colleagues, the sheer scope and scale of the climate challenge is such that we need trillions, not billions. And the reality is that none of us can foot such a bill alone. We need every dollar working towards a low carbon, climate resilient future that we all aspire to. Voluntary carbon markets are an important piece of this puzzle and have the potential to unlock otherwise untapped resources. We need to work together to scale up high integrity carbon markets, including more carbon market activation plans at a national level. We need to foster closer collaboration with private sector partners and encourage investment in high quality transactions, particularly those that prioritize the participation of local communities. And we need to continue to align VCM integrity efforts with those to operationalize Article 6 to ensure syn synergies of public and private investments. By uniting your expertise, resources, and influence, we can establish, implement, and deploy a framework that ensures integrity, transparency, credibility, and accountability for voluntary carbon markets. By harmonizing efforts, acting in unity, and focusing on integrity, the potential of this tool can be realized. And this will bring us closer to our ultimate goal of delivering transformative progress against the Paris Agreement. Excellencies, colleagues, friends, the COP28 presidency appreciates the efforts of the African Climate Markets Initiative and its partners in furthering this discussion. We look forward to further outcomes to help drive integrity in VCMs, and we look forward to working with each of you to push forward this process and to help bring this unique and potential game-changing resource to fruition. Thank you so much. Um, 